السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my beloved children you know that ليلة القدر is the night of decree where the decree is made by Allah Allah makes decisions what's going to happen for the whole year and so on everything Allah decides it and sends it down subhanallah for the whole year so that's a good powerful powerful night some people call it the night of power it's fine why is it so powerful well firstly it is because Allah decided that it will be powerful now how powerful is it Allah says laylatul qadr khairum min alf shahr the night of decree is better than a thousand months and if you work out a thousand months is between 83 and 84 years One night is better than 83 and a half years. Subhanallah. So what should I do on that night? Well, I need to make dua to Allah at least. I need to at least do a little bit more than I do on other nights. I know you guys are children, but you can still read one more dua, read a little bit more Quran, do two units of extra prayer. Just seek Allah's forgiveness just to say Allahumma innaka afuwun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. Oh Allah, you are forgiving. You love to forgive. So forgive me. Wow. Allah is afuwun tuhibbul afwa. That's the quality of Allah. He forgives and he loves to forgive. So just love Allah. Know that Allah is amazing. He's going to forgive you and he will always forgive you. But you need to seek and ask for that forgiveness. Oh Allah, forgive me. What I said was wrong, what I did was wrong and so on. So Allah will forgive you and he will bless you and he will grant you and then all your duas you want your supplications I need something make dua oh Allah protect me protect my parents protect us from corona grant cure to this person have mercy on that person oh Allah help me at school help me this way do this for me do that for me and so on and there's no harm make dua to Allah it's beneficial it's good for you actually so that night of decree what happened is initially it was known which night it is now we no longer know which night it is but we have an idea roughly where it is so the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us that because two people were arguing and fighting so allah took away the knowledge of the exact night never mind no problem whatever it was it's okay but what happened he told us that laylatul qadr you need to look for it you need to search for it how do you search for it by making dua by reading salah by doing some extra ibada extra act of worship something maybe a few a few verses of the quran more by doing something good a good deed uh, during the nights of the last 10 nights of ramadan so it's in the last 10 nights of ramadan most probably one of the odd nights of the last 10 nights of ramadan so the 21st night the 23rd night the 25th night the 27th night or the 29th night some people say most likely the 27th or 29th but either way it's one of those odd nights most probably so all the 10 nights make sure that at least you make dua for your parents get used to it because when you grow older you will then become accustomed you'll become used to uh making dua and doing some extra acts of worship during the last 10 nights of Ramadan so i thought i'd let you know that's laylatul qadr it's the night of decree the night of power some of the scholars say that that was the night where the miraj happened we're not 100% certain but it's possible some say it was in rajab some say it was in ramadan the 27th of ramadan some say 27th of rajab perhaps the ramadan is a little bit better in terms of the narration Allah knows best but still what we do know for a fact is that it's the night of power the night of decree and Allah will open your doors it's more it's better than a thousand months you calculate 12 months every year a thousand months how many years is that imagine you're going to get a reward of worshiping Allah for 83 and something years just by one night May Allah bless you your your loved ones all of your loved ones may Allah unite us all in jannatul firdaus and remember Allah loves you assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh